Hey everybody, welcome back to some Wrath of the Lamb action. I think I'm gonna do another challenge run here. Should I? Should I do another challenge run or should I do um, a standard run? You know what? Let's mix it up. We'll do standard challenge, standard challenge. Um, and let's random. Why not? Eve, fantastic. My favorite character. At least we didn't start on the cellar, but we do start directly uh, with fighting a mini boss. Now, Eve, of course, we've gone over this 200,000 times. The secret with Eve is you have to get a damage up quickly. That was terrible. Uh, because if you don't, you'll find yourself in a very difficult situation very early. I think she starts with a lot of, like, tears up, though. That seemed to be seemed to be firing fairly quickly here. Let's see what our tarot card is. Key is good. Justice. All right, definitely worthwhile. That'll bring us back up to full health. And all is not lost on our second room. I think, it, is it possible that Eve's gotten a buff? She seems super fucking fast now, too. As Edmund McMillan listened to my cries of anguish as I've been playing as Eve, she seems better already. Maybe not... Her base damage is still shitty. It takes us four hits to take out a Grandfather Fly. Uh, but... She seems faster and she shoots faster as well. I think perhaps Eve has received a buff. I'm, ca I'm calling it... In my professional opinion, it feels like Eve has been buffed, which is good news for everybody like me who is a rational human being who hates characters that are bad and ruin the fun of the game. <laughs> That's an over... That's an exaggeration, of course. But anyway. And maybe I'm just crazy. Hey, Anarchist Cookbook, uh, that item is basically garbage, but... Uh, could be useful depending on the boss that we fight. Like, it can take out Larry Jr. really easily. Not that, you know, Larry Jr. is a challenge at any point anyway, but... Uh, and it can also help us out in situations where we... Oh, that was close. Uh, situations where we uh, don't have a bomb, but want to pop open a tinted rock. But we got to be quick thinking, because sometimes you'll need to kick some of those bombs into position uh, and still get out of position of the bomb's explosion yourself. All right, well, this room should be reasonably easy. I'm expecting, anyway. Yeah, I kind of want to take the, the head guys out before the Ring Around the Rosy situation starts here. I will spare you guys my theatrical rendition of Ring Around the Rosy again. Because quite frankly, I've forgotten the words. Not that I remembered them when I did the, when I sang the song for the first time, but I digress. Anyway, uh, let's get these guys out here. We're going to do like a little bit of asshole parading here. Make sure we take these guys out as fast as possible. Oh, no. Yeah, I kind of thought that was going to happen. These guys are just too damn close. We have created some extra paths for us to go through here. Thank you, Dead Bird. And a little bit of extra health. Alright, the game's been good to me so far. We got Duke of Flies. You know why the hell not? It might speed things up a little bit. Alright, so Duke of Flies is very nearly dead already. Again, probably the easiest boss in the game. Duke of Flies... Yeah, uh, Skull X is super easy as well, but Duke of Flies, I think, is... Is, just like, always, always easy. Provided that you, you don't have, like, some item that you have to charge up. Like, Brimstone would maybe be shitty against Duke of Flies. In some situations, like, if you had Brimstone plus Triple Shot or Brimstone Chocolate Milk uh, that forced you to charge up your Brimstone for a long-ass time beforehand, uh, that is health up. Yes, and also we get the extra fetus that shoots out of the side of our head, right? I think. I don't know. Maybe I made a mistake with that. I thought that stem cells did that, but anyway. Oh, we got the library right off the bat. Definitely want to replace Book of Revelation, or sorry, uh, Anarchist Cookbook with... Ooh, this is a tough one, because Book of Re Book of Belial would be awesome for uh, giving us increased damage. But I'm going to go with Book of Revelations, which I almost always go with, because uh, this is going to amass a ton of spirit arts. Getting Book of Revelations on the second floor is one of those things that, you know, that, that's going to create like a storybook game for you. As long as everything else goes right, according to plan. Now what we have to do is get a battery, and it'll be just like an old-fashioned, old-timey Isaac run. Book of Revelations, battery, uh, although I guess we are using Eve, who is, by all accounts, a new character. There's our treasure room, what do we got in here? Uh, chemical burn, extra damage, right? Awesome. I always get that confused with Ipecac, uh, but the extra damage rate of the start is definitely going to be awesome for us. Again, what did I say? Big problems with Eve? You need to get a damage up as soon as possible, and the second floor is definitely a, a decent position to get a damage up, in my opinion. What are you doing out, up here, buddy? Please, yes, come at me, bro, so I can shoot you in the fucking face! 
Right, guys? Uh, so we're gonna make our way down to the boss here, probably. The, the reason I don't want to go for this chest, even though I have three bombs, is because that fire is gonna be a pain in the ass to... Ah, you know what? Maybe let's try it. Who dares wins? I was thinking, like, if I, if I just busted a, up through the center, that would be tricky, but if I do it that way, that's much easier. Gives us a little bit of extra money. Like, two cents. That was, that was not worth it. Thanks for encouraging me to do that, you assholes. Um, if I lose, now it's your fault. I'm not talking to the audience, I'm talking to the voices inside my head who make me do the things that I do. Who do we got here? Famine! Uh, showing up in, like, every run that I've been doing lately. But, you know, it's Famine. He's not so bad. Another one of the most easy bosses in the game. I kind of feel like uh, the game is being good to us after being really dickish to us the past few runs. At least not, like, challenge runs I've done okay. I think I'm batting, like, like three for four on challenge runs. Which probably goes to show you, like, how, how easy those are in relation to the rest of the game. Uh, but in terms of, like, actually beating the Wrath of the Lamb by itself, not doing so hot. Probably batting, like, 33% right now, maybe even a little bit less. So I definitely, I'm in the, I'm in the camp that uh, the game has definitely increased in difficulty since the expansion com has come out, but I know a lot of people disagree with that. Let's see what we got here. Got Guppy's Head, Ouija Board, uh, I want neither of those. So we'll just head down to the next floor. Feels good to be, like, getting deals with the devil again. Curse of the Lost, again, I've forgotten what that curse does. I haven't, still haven't looked up anything on the wiki, because, again, I'm a lazy piece of garbage. And I justify that by saying that, like, oh, it's more fun if I, if I don't know what's going on. I guess it is to a certain extent. I don't know. Didn't mean to get down on myself there. Okay, we got we got issues. Oh, we made it. That was close. <laughs> so we could go to the library, uh, but there's no book that I want that is better than the book that I currently have. Could go to the shop, but we don't have any money, so uh, that's an easy decision for me to make in order to save keys. I forgot that I had the mouse pointer on the screen. I apologize for that. That's probably been on the screen uh, for like seven minutes now, but hopefully nobody turned the video off. What the fuck is that hand doing on the screen? Get the fucking hand off the screen, Northern Lion! Already guaranteed that there will be comments. Let's say something along those lines. Oh well. Shit happens, yo. Hopefully it wasn't a deal breaker. Uh, there's our boss. We'll probably fight the boss right away. Cause I wouldn't mind picking up a, a sick house damage item like a brimstone or mom's knife from getting a deal with the devil. Although deals with the devil rarely appear on the first floor of a, of a level. Like a, a caves one or a basement one. Never appears on the basement one. What do we got here? Okay, we're gonna get our second meat boy. So again, we're, we're getting some damage upgrades, which is awesome. I mean, the meat boy technically, I guess, isn't a damage upgrade. Uh, actually, but it, it technically does more damage, is what I meant to say. It improves our DPS, if you will, from having an extra follower. Pestilence, do me a favor, please, buddy. Uh, destroy some of your own silkworms, because between the silkworms and the creep, dodging's about to get pretty fucking difficult over here. Otherwise, I'm just focusing on what's going on here. I did manage to take a little bit of damage there, but that's good, because dead bird's gonna pop out now. Uh, we won't have to deal with this guy so much. Just hang back here and ruin his shit as he tries to come at me. Sometimes Dead Bird is actually, like, worth taking a hit just to speed up the boss fight. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Well, we definitely want to make sure we go to the item room on this floor as well. But we're stacked when it comes to damage now. Maybe not stacked, but we're above average, which is kind of stacked when it comes to Eve. Why does she look like William Wallace right now? So obviously we'll just focus on dodging in this room. If I could actually kill some of these. If I could actually kill some of these. There we go. Extra heart I can't use, but there's been a lot of hearts abandoned on this floor so far. So if I've come across an arcade, it might be worthwhile to, uh, you know, pop into the blood bank there and see if I can get another health upgrade. Because I haven't really been amassing a whole bunch by a book of revelation so far. I'm doing okay on that front, but... Oh, that's bad. Should not be taking damage. <laughs> Should not be taking damage on these turrets like that this point in my Binding of Isaac career. Can one of them fucking die already? This is crazy! Dead bird, get in their faces! Okay, there's Book of Revelations. We got a lot of money, we got Parasite, that's good. Again, that's gonna give us a little bit more DPS. Of course, the shots split when they, uh, when they encounter something. 
great for some extra crowd control. I'm not sure if the split shots do the same amount of damage or if they do half as much damage, but either way, it's good. And uh, Parasite always brings back special memories for me. Of course, as someone who uh, did not get the Parasite until the very last item in the game. So I'm just going to keep... I, I could go down to the next floor right now, but I'm going to keep trucking along here because I would like to uh, pick up some extra bombs. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and extra keys wouldn't be so bad either. Only having two is not great. Ask and ye shall receive. Shop, still probably not worthwhile at this point, but... Oh man, Parasite's really good on this room. At least when the shots actually split. And there's a fork. That's worth a bomb, I think. I, I've forgotten what the fork does. I think it gives us lifesteal, which is good, I guess. I mean, it's worth picking up for a, the cost of a bomb, anyway. We do have a Tinted Rock on here, which I'm hoping will give us more Spirit Hearts. Because we're doing okay on damage right now. We just need uh, maybe a little bit of extra health, despite the fact that I have Book of Revelations. I'm starting to wish I'd taken that Ouija board. I was asking for regular hearts. If I was asking for spirit hearts, I would have gone for it. No questions asked. More silkworm. I'm gonna open this chest. Oh, awesome. And we'll get more keys, we'll get more bombs as a result of that. Uh, and I'm not gonna go into this last room because I want to make sure that I get this extra heart container that I got the white heart for. Awesome! Uh, so I think that floor worked out reasonably well. I'm doing okay on pretty much all fronts right now. Could definitely use a battery though. Battery would put me over the top, and it, it would feel so good to beat this game with Eve right now, so that I knew I didn't have the pressure of having to beat it with Eve. Because obviously, you got to beat it with all characters to unlock all the new items. And if I'm maintaining my like Isaac completionistness, completionistness, if I'm going to complete Isaac again as I did before, uh, I am going to need to unlock all those items at some point. I mean, that means Blue Baby's got to do it sometime, but cross that bridge when we come to it. Single pill. Definitely not worth it, uh, and I'm not flying, so I actually have to deal with the mob trap room for once. This is why I skip the mob trap room a lot of the time. I mean, when you're flying, it's great. It's free items. Baskin Robbins free cone day times a million. It's Ben and Jerry's, isn't it? My bad. Ben and Jerry's corporation. I didn't mean to uh, slander you here or, you know, advertise for your competitors. If you want to send me free ice cream for life, uh, you know, as a token of your goodwill, I'll definitely promote your products. Half-baked? I think that's a great uh, ice cream flavor. You guys have done a good job with that one. Are you listening, Ben & Jerry's Marketing Corporation? This could be a great opportunity for you. Yeah, it is lifesteal. Well, there is our second spirit heart. Mm, there's a blood bank where uh, I'll probably take good use of that if we get more hearts dropping. It's not always a guarantee, but oftentimes does seem to be the case. I'm taking way too much damage still, but that's just been my my MO in Isaac today, apparently. Got a heart there. Ah, it's tempting. Guardian Angel, cool. So we got all these things spinning around us now. More quickly than they used to. Let's check out our shop just in case. Ooh. Two, oh, it's a library, not a shop. That was a waste of a key. So we got two Necronomicons in there. I think I got that right for once. We'll definitely play this twice, because we know that we can just pick up a uh, heart from the other room, even if we don't come across any more hearts on our travels here, although we probably will. Okay, Super Pride. Definitely annoying as shit. Hopefully we'll take him out before he manages to do too much damage to us. Spawning of those troll bombs is annoying as hell. Hopefully we'll kill him before he can get one more set out. Nope! <laughs> Uh, and we got nine lives, which I don't want either. Uh, I would rather have Isaac's Fork than the Red Patch, although the Red Patch is good as well, of course. When you take damage, uh, you do more damage. So I'm gonna skip nine lives. I don't like it. I think it's a bad item. I think I do worse when I have it. Certainly, uh, invest one bomb to pick up eight cents here, nine cents. And this will make it possible for us to go to the shop and hopefully pick up a passive like a battery. Damage up, HP up, I don't really care as long as it's a passive of some sort. Maybe speed up I wouldn't invest in at this point. Because the futures market for speed up is quite low right now. The bubbles burst. So I'm just shooting while looking at the floor right now. I'm not even looking at these flies. The flies are secondary to the spikes in my mind. What is that? That's a new, uh, new trinket, I think. 
Matchstick. No idea what that does. Let's figure it out. Holy Grail! Now we can fly. As usual. <laughs> uh, and now we can access that heart without having to waste a bomb. Oh, man. Did I just kill that thing? I'm not sure what the hell happened there. Maybe I just hit it with, like, my Guardian Angel. Come on, pop up. Okay, that's good. Book of Revelations is ready. I think we're in a very good position right here. Call me crazy! <laughs> I think we might have a chance. But again, I will take any advantage possible to defeat the game as Eve. Because this is something that doesn't always work out for me. What are you going to do, man? There's nothing you can do. I'm unstoppable. I can fly. You know what that means? I kind of want to go back to get that heart, but I kind of don't because... It's a long trip, man. Can't believe I managed to dodge that to a certain extent. Guardian Angel probably did save my life there. Come on, pop up. Pop up. There we go. Was that so hard? And one last one. All right, that room is surprisingly easy. We're on Caves Part 2, so we're going to fight a boss that we uh, you know, know and love, probably. I am going to go all the way back here and pick up uh, that heart that I abandoned. It's a fork. We'll be able to get the bomb here. Should have done this earlier. Oh well. And you know what? I'm feeling dangerous. Let's play this two more times. Three more times. Oh man. Oh, greatest man on earth. Okay. <laughs> you gotta know when to hold him. Uh, or you just gotta have, like, brass balls and just continually go back to it. Be like, I'm. Ed, I'm willing to die. Turn your troll engine up to max. If you're willing to be enough of a dick to not give me the blood bag on that. Alright, so we got Peep. Whoa. We got Champion Peep who shot out both eyes right off the bat. Uh, and this is going to be a long-ass fight because I'm not doing nearly enough damage to this tanky-ass Peep here. Yo, man, you want to come over tonight? I got this tanky-ass Peep, man. We're going to get so fucking swirly. Keep moving here. I got no excuse to get hit by the eyes, because uh, I do have like incredible mobility. Wouldn't be surprised if I... Oh, I got hit by the eyes! <laughs> well, that's cool. Dead Bird will do some damage now. Guardian Angel saved me from getting tagged by a bullet there. Uh, didn't save me that time. Where were you that time, Guardian Angel? What have you done for me lately? Just gonna keep it up here. So far, so good. And that'll do it, okay. So we get our Jesus Juice, which is important for range and tears up. And what do we got here? Yes, we will take the mark. Thank you very much. That will give us damage upgrades as well as a couple of spirit hearts, I think. Oh, almost always worth it to, to pick up the mark or the pact, even though I sometimes don't follow my own advice. I wonder how many enemies I've killed in my like the entirety of my Isaac career. Is that listed on the stats menu? gotta be like 10,000. So we got like 200 videos, that would be like 500 kills per video. Or 50 video. I think it's more than 10,000. <laughs> oh! Ah, uh, I thought the bomb fly was gonna explode in my face. There we go, we got away from it. Cool. Bring it on, flies. I ain't scared of no ghost. Excellent. Okay, we got bombs, we're gonna make our way down here. Hard to believe, like, we're only on the necropolis. I thought we were a little bit further ahead. I am feeling a little scared right now. <laughs> Not gonna lie, uh, I would love someone to hold me right now. Oh, there we go. Book of Revelations is ready. Not so scared anymore. I would love a map, though. Tony Stark built this in a cave with a box of maps. That's not how the quote goes. God damn it. How much damage did I take? Did I take two there? No way. Oh, cool, there's the treasure room. I totally forgot about those. Pining of Isaac pro tip number one. Uh, if you want to succeed in the game, go to the treasure room. Usually they'll have items in them. And occasionally, one out of six times, those items will be helpful for you. Uh, it's probably more like three out of five times. Someone's got to graph that. Of course, it depends on personal preference as well. There's our item room. Box of tarot cards. Of course, since I badmouthed 
Uh, Isaac, the gods of Isaac, are not pleased with me. We'll drop a... Oh, that was a waste. Drop a bomb here to pick up what I hope is going to be a couple spirit hearts. Well, one spirit heart and a bomb. If I could access them. Cool, there we go. Hoping we fight... Who's that asshole that I love? Uh, in the depths part one. Hopefully we fight war here so we can get our third level meat boy. That'd be nice because then I wouldn't have to like get hit to make like a damage doing party member appear in Dead Bird, if you guys know what I'm saying. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm saying, so don't feel bad. Otherwise, we'll just make our way up here and over to the left, I suppose. Blew myself up there because I'm an idiot. And still would love to come across a shop and a battery, because clearly Book of Revelations is not doing me a whole lot of good right now. How did I not get hit there? Good fucking lord. Someone is looking up, or looking out for me today. Okay, B-Rev is ready. B-Rev is ready! I got you for three minutes! Three minutes of Isaac! You know, if you want to hear a good Macho Man Randy Savage impression, this is not the channel you should be going to. Oh, come on. You check out Michael A.L. Fox for that stuff. That dude is a Macho Man Randy Savage fanatic. Okay, Greed, this is good. Gordon Gecko, Greed is good because we are going to uh, be able to get enough money now to go to the shop on the next floor for sure. No, maybe not. We'll get the Steam sale, though. Well, it's, I guess same difference, functionally. Cool, so hopefully we'll... <sighs> Hopefully we'll get a battery on the next floor. I'm really uh, disappointing myself with my Isaac play. It's okay. We're still fine. You know, let's take out these fucking neutral flies because they're annoying the shit out of me. Running into them at every turn. Or the relic, man. The relic would be a good drop right now too. What is this pill? Good stuff. All right. Well, hopefully we'll never have to come down. We have our mob trap room. I would love a boss trap room. So we can just fly in, get a sick item, and then leave. Nope. Nope, we're not gonna do that. Ah, okay, we'll do it. What do you got for me? Key and scent. It's technically worth it, although that scent for my troubles is not necessarily, uh, you know, worth the time that I spent to get there. Alright, there's our boss room. I can stop stressing out so much now. We'll fight whoever it is. I don't care if they're big. If they're big, I'll fight them a lot. Because I'm the baddest of them all. I don't know. Krispy Kreme! Are we still talking about that video? Or am I an old man in viral video terms? There we go. One more. Awesome. Thanks for the bomb. We will be fighting war, which is exactly what I asked for. And hopefully, uh, we'll be able to take him out before he gets to drop too many of these goddamn <laughs> troll bomb nonsenses on us. That you guys didn't know that you could pluralize nonsense. Yeah, I just drop some knowledges on you. Okay, you got to. Dead bird doing damage. Dead bird slow as molasses. But it dropped. Oh, that's good. Okay, so there's our third meat boy. There's an extra heart container. And we are back at full health. And Book of Revelations recharged there as well, so I use that. Awesome. Indeed. Uh, no idea what Matchstick does. But. I'm assuming it has something to do with fire. Maybe if I if I walk into the fire, it will light me ablaze like an immolated hopper. I don't have the sack to try that out, but... Ooh, almost got hit there. So what are we looking for on this floor? Uh, absolutely the shop, because I do have that steam sale now. And absolutely the treasure room, and then the boss room. Why do I even ask myself this question on camera when the answer is the same every time? What are we looking for on this floor? Uh, all of the rooms that are good, uh, and then we're going to try to fight the boss because you have to. Every single time. Bomb flies are going to die. At some point, yeah, there we go. Drop a spirit heart, which is a generous loot for this room. <laughs> Why did I just stand there and take it? My dodging, like I said, I don't have confidence in my dodging. That's my problem right now. Come on. Come on. The dodging on this heart is, is unbelievable right now. Me Boy and Dead Bird can't even track it down. Finally, they get something done. Sneak our way through there. We have a self-sacrifice. Oh, God! 
I don't like this. Uh, what do we have here? We have money and keys. You know, that's worthwhile. Could go to the self. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm down. I'm out of spirit hearts, which is crazy. You know, it's probably worth it. Please be a good pill. Bombs are key. Eh, we'll switch back. <laughs> we are going to take, yeah, half a heart of damage on our way out. That's fine. Look, we're juiced up again. What do we have in here? Slot machine. Uh, go bottom right, I guess. Every terminus that we come across now should have uh, something special in it. Be it the boss room, or an item room, or the treasure. Or, uh, or the shop, is what I meant to say. Alright, there's our shop. Awesome. We got enough money to potentially pick up two items, and we fought Greed on the last floor, so we probably will not fight him on this floor. At least that's how my understanding of probability works. In the meantime, it would be really nice if I could actually take out some of these... Take out some of these enemies. Especially the ones... Oh, good. I was going to say, especially the ones that are creating new enemies for me to deal with. The rev is ready... We got the compass. We got a uh, pill. What a waste. And then we're just going to go back here and get our health. Okay, so now we know where to go anyway. Do I want to fight this boss? Mini boss? Probably. Envy? Oh, well, you know, we got Super Meat Boy. He should be able to cut these guys down. We could get a level 4 Meat Boy if we fight uh, Death. Which would be awesome. It would be like that challenge run that I just did. Like, almost exactly, because I can also... Because I can also fly... I'm taking sad amounts of goddamn damage. It's, it's actually depressing how bad I feel like my Isaac skills are compared to where they were like a week ago. I have no idea what happened in the meantime. I got everything on my side. Flying, Book of Revelations, level 3 Meat Boy, decent damage. But anyway, let's not dwell on it. Let's just succeed in spite of it. We'll work our way up and around. Compass is great because that's going to speed up our, uh, our progress in the womb, obviously. Yeah, Meat Boy, go straight for that in indestructible turret. It's good use of your time. Company resources, definitely. Stop. Oh, fuck me! My shots are red too, like red and occasionally orange. It's making it difficult to see what the hell's going on. Ipecac! Why not? Let's get fucking crazy. I hate slot. I hate slot machines. Well, it's good to know that Ipecac will just explode in your face like that. What have I done? Why did I pick up that item? I've made things so much harder on myself. Or have I? No, yes, I have. Definitely. Well, there's some money for me. Awesome. Thanks for the ten bombs. Uh, I kind of have unlimited bombs. If you don't think about it too hard. So I'll just dip set out of here, and we'll be fighting Mom, and that's going to be scary for me, but hopefully... It all works out. Uh, this could easily be my death. You know what? Let's try to look for the secret room. Because, yeah, we should be able to find it easily. Cool. Thanks for the money. Can't really do anything. Well, you know what? We can actually take a shortcut here. Check out my skills. And uh, we'll go back to the shop. Maybe there was a heart there for sale that I passed up. Nope. Bombs and keys. Uh, so what we will do with this last remaining 15 cents is visit us slot machine here, which will hopefully pay out with some hearts, and if it doesn't, then I'll just explode it. Alright, well that's good so far. Apparently every time I say explode it, it pays out. With something. Explode it. Alright, well, my theory's debunked. If I play this long enough, maybe it'll give me enough uh, credits to buy Porygon. Please, just like another heart container. Give me, like, a white heart right now. Actually, that would be a waste, because I would lose it against Mom, for sure. But it's okay. This is going well. Uh, definitely things have been looking up compared to where they were a second ago. That's another tears down pill. Fantastic. We give this one more play, I guess. Ooh, cool. That is a Bombs Are Key pill, which I definitely don't want. No, that's not a Bombs Are Key pill. What am I thinking? Okay, I don't want the tears down pill. I want the... Explosive diarrhea. That's eh, better, I guess. I can use that in some way. And we got, oh, like eight bombs here. That's awesome. No, not that one. That one, okay. So now we're up to like 32 bombs again. Always get the bombs when you like couldn't need them less. I 
forgot we still have like rooms to go before we fight our uh, our way into the boss room. Which kind of sucks. Oh well. Uh, the ability to fly is hopefully going to make Ipecac like more valuable because right now, <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> if it hits a rock, it just explodes. Of course. Alright, that was a good shot. I just gotta I just gotta be smarter with my shooting. Thank you. And a little bit more. Okay, that's good. We're back to full health. It is going to be difficult for us, I think, to hit Mom. But our crowd control should be off the charts. You know, it's, it's actually going really well so far. But I don't want to jinx it. Meat Boy. Destroyed. Oh, fuck. I forgot about the rocks. Okay, they're almost dead. Can't shoot rocks. That, that actually takes away from a little bit of the, the benefit of having uh, the ability to fly. It's like shooting rocks is, is... Shooting around rocks, I should say, is what you do when you have the ability to fly. So we get 8-Ball, which gives us Tears Up, as well as a uh, Tarot card. Okay, we'll definitely keep that and go down to the next floor. And make our way to the left, because that is obviously where uh, we are going to find the boss. So, Ipecac, uh, jury's still out on whether this is a great item or a terrible item. I guess it varies depending on your situation. But one thing's for damn sure, we gotta plan our use of it appropriately. Are you kidding me? Is this heart indestructible or something? Okay, well, the Diglets are, are proving a challenge. This heart is just pissing me off, there we go. Fantastic, whoa. Pushpin. Don't know what that does, but we'll hold on to it because I'm trying to explore all the trinkets. <laughs> Took some stupid damage there. What would an Isaac run be without stupid damage, though? It would not be an Isaac run, I'll tell you that much. Please, please. Okay, good. I got the heart. I, what, I might as well destroy all of these um, rocks that we come across because obviously those will uh, give us a chance to uncover some more spirit hearts, which may prove. Oh, that's great. May prove uh, exceptionally valuable. I'm saving the sun card. So stupid of me. Almost got hit again there. Uh, saving my sun card to use maybe on the wound part three or the cathedral, I suppose. That's easy enough. That didn't hit him. How is that possible? Okay. Well, you know what, Meat Boy, just eat him. Eat him. Revelations is ready. What do we got here? Death. Oh man, we are gonna get level four, me boy. Assuming we win this fight, which is not a given, I guess. But it is going pretty well so far. Uh, although it's gonna be a pain in the ass to try to like hit the horseman. I can't shoot the things. Okay. Thank you for the spirit heart. Death. That was very nice of you. This is going to be trickier than I thought. Okay, that was good. Try this again down here. Oh, okay. Come on. I can wait. There we go. So we get our fourth cube of meat. What do you want? Why did I do that? There's no reason for me to be here. There's no reason at all. How is Lump of Coal going to help me? Is it going to make my Ipecac more powerful? Increase the length of your Ipecac by 6 inches in 20 days or less. That still took damage. That was not worth it despite the fact that I got the item. Whatever. Um, we made it. Down to the wound part 2. Still uh, still rolling here. Sort of. <laughs> I guess. More bombs. Awesome. Could not be less useful. Good news is we... we Got damage out the ass. Bad news is I'm really scared of the way that these guys are these guys are doing like some pro coordinations on their dodges. I should have tried to take out Larry Jr. as fast as possible. Come on. What am I paying you guys for? Thank you for bringing me back to full health. That was nice of you. Anyway, gotta remember I cannot shoot the rocks. 
That was good. Uh, now we'll shoot the rocks, because I want to make sure if there's any spirit hearts in there, that I get them. Mom, mom's... Oh, fuck. Mom's heart boss fight is going to be pretty damn interesting. Let's see how that works. Uh, I guess it's going to go pretty well, probably. Maybe? I don't know. Again, we will see. I'm just taking everything as it comes now. There is our Book of Revelations. Good pill. Alright, three flies. Maybe that'll help me out in this next room. Takes two Ipecac to get rid of the big brain guy? It's madness. Oh no, the poison damage gets them. Okay, so of course we will. Both of those, nothing there. Alright, let's do this. Meat Boy, please focus on the lasers. That was smart. That was, that was good, Meat Boy. I'm proud of you. Alright, you take care of that. Oh my god, Meat Boy! You let me down for the last time! My range is making it sort of difficult to take these uh, enemies out. Or to hit Mom's heart, I should say, actually. So you do that. Okay, I'm gonna plant this bomb here. That went really well, actually. Uh, now we'll just focus on Monstro. A couple of these should, should be enough, I think. Yeah, okay. Okay, we'll drop a bomb up here. Only one dude left. Ipecac, I imagine, yeah, pretty great against zombies. And we got permanent creep firing here. Oh, yeah, it was kind of inevitable that I was going to take some damage there, huh? Alright, um... We got a chance, I guess. Why did I go down to the Wound Part 3 instead of going to the Cathedral? Because the boss room is right here. Wow, that is lucky. How did I dodge that? Did you see that fucking dodge? Why is my Ipecac white now? Oh, there we go. Turn your Ipecac white in three days! Okay, just don't take too much damage. Oh, the secret room. It was close. I've done this before. I know how to attack this dude. One more of those should be enough. Oh, there's a mini boss in that goddamn secret room. Ah, uh, what a waste. Thank you, Meat Boy. That was very nice of you. I have the sun card. When am I going to use that? I guess if shit gets rough. Because I should be able to take out the Fallen pretty quickly. Let's drop the Fallen in here. Meat Boy, do something. I need you right now. I'm going to use the Sun card against the, uh, the third form. Because I think those feet are going to be hardest for me to hit with Ipecac. And also incredibly difficult for Meat Boy to hit. Obviously. I walked right into it. That was so bad. Okay. Well, this is fine. We should be okay against Satan's second form. Again, Gillette Pro Dodge is there. Okay, we made it. Uh, now it's time for the Sun card. That did not as much damage as I wanted it to. Get away! Get away, Bonfly! Oh, but it did heal me fully. I didn't... I forgot about that. It's fine. Me, boy! Eat him! Eat him! Whoa, we succeeded as Eve! I did not expect that! And we succeeded with Ipecac, which I did not expect either. But hey, I guess we didn't unlock any special item for that. So my prior reasoning is moot. But anyway, as always, thank you guys for watching. I'm, I'm pleased with myself. Let's quickly check out the stats menu here. No, no enemies killed. But anyway, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.